Today we want to take a look at the component test plate. A very popular fixture that can add some nice flexibility to your universal testing system. I'm Sammy, one of the application engineers at Instron, here to tell you all about it. This is a drilled and tapped metal plate that gets mounted directly to the base of your single or dual comb frame. As you can see, the entire surface is covered in an array of drilled holes. These are M6 threaded holes that can be used to mount a wide variety of components directly to the plate. This setup can also make it easier for you to adapt custom-made grips and fixtures to your test system. So now that we have a basic overview of the component test plate, let's take a look at how this gets mounted to the test system. To get started, we first need to remove the base adapter. Next, we take the included mounting block and place it onto the base of the system. This block is important since it provides the necessary clearance so that we are not interfering with our e-stop. With the plate positioned, we then use four bolts to secure it to our test system. Now that we've got the plate installed, Let's take a look at a few examples of how we typically see customers using it. The first example we'll look at is using mounting hardware to secure your specimen directly to the plate. This method gives you a lot of flexibility with how you can position your component. You'll just need to make sure you have the appropriate mounting hardware that works for your setup. This hardware can include M6 bolts or compatible vices. The second way we see customers using this plate is with one of our compatible adapters, which can be threaded directly into the component test plate to position a grip off center. Something to keep in mind is that you'll want to make sure your specimen's test area is centered directly under the load cell. Otherwise, it could potentially cause some damage. In most cases, you can leave the plate mounted to your test frame at all times since it won't interfere with the majority of other applications. There's a small circular cutout in the center of the plate that allows you to reinstall the standard base adapter. Once the base adapter is reinstalled, you can use all your standard Instron grips and fixtures to perform tests using the lower pin and clevis connection. And that's the component test plate. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you might have using the link in the video description or by contacting us on Instron.com. We'll see you next time.